I, I believe at the moment there is a massive divide between the, what I call the political class, which goes beyond just politicians. It embraces political parties, it embraces some right-wing academics, the political class. It would also embrace, in my view, all of those who say we must cuddle up to America and do what America wants. Um, the uh, I, th I think the divide between such people and the majority of Australians is deep and growing and dangerous. Um, it's, uh, you know, the question of reform, people talk about reform in the Labour Party, but never any real sign that reform is taking place in a fundamental way. Nobody talks about reform in the Liberal Party. The fact that membership of both parties has gone down, down and down uh, indicates great disenchantment throughout the general populace and throughout people who formerly used to support the parties. Uh, not only support them, but be active members of the parties. Um, so, you know, in these circumstances, how do you get a new bunch of politicians who are going to be there for a purpose and not there because it's the best paid job they can get. Bipartisanship doesn't seem to exist today. If you can get a vote or think you can get a vote by taking a contrary or a different view, let's do that. That's the prime concern. It was different in my time and different in earlier times. The great migration that occurred in Australia, started by Arthur Corwell in 1946, could never have occurred with today's politicians because somebody would have played a race card or a sectarian card and that would have created such division that that great migration would have been cut short. And when Gough Whitlam made a decision not to take refugees from Indochina, I reversed that and made a decision to do so he never opposed it. There were one or two people in the Labour Party who tried to, briefly, but Goff himself never opposed it. So the bipartisan policy continued and didn't start to end, perhaps, till the very late 1880s or the early 1890s, uh, not 18, 1980s, uh, 1990s.